morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to April 5th. This is for you. I hope you're doing well uh, this morning. If you celebrated Easter, I hope you had a lovely Easter. This is being shot on Easter morning. It's early here. And uh, the sky is just this brilliant blue. There's, I mean, this is just the most gorgeous place. I was in the grotto on the other side of this little uh, Airbnb that I'm at. And um, it's just a sacred space. So it's a perfect place to do the readings. Unfortunately, everything is rock. So it's a little bit uncomfortable for me. But um, I don't know. I kind of feel like there's some kind of metaphor in that. Right? Okay. So uh, let's see. You have asked. Uh, I've gotten a couple questions about the um, past life regression that starts Tuesday night on April 6th. And it will be three sessions where we'll be group regressing everybody into their past lives. And basically, you're getting the answers to questions of things that drive you unconsciously. And, you know, a lot of times on this channel, especially in the classes, I get this question of, how am I supposed to know about something that's driving me unconsciously? Well, this is how you find out. <laughs> this is how you find out. You go back and see previous lives. You ask a question, why can't I make money in this life? Why am I having a hard time with love? And when you see the lives, the lives give you the karmic answers to those questions. So if you're having a bit of blind spot trouble, this might be a good solution. I'm using this Fairy Oracle deck today. I'm gonna to use this, can you see? There we go, Fairy Oracle. Um, so this is kind of an interesting little deck. I'm, it's brand new to me, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna share with you what the author has written here. So number four, This is look at this beautiful energy there. Can you see that? That's a number four card. This is a number 27 card, the owl. So I see her helping somebody. Do you see the, like they're in the depths of despair and she's really trying to reach out to help them. Um, the owl is there and then what's underneath is 13, death energy of the bat. Um, so let me just read about her because I feel like this is about wisdom and I also feel like it's about uh, transformation. And you know, she's reaching out to help or she, at least she's seeing them. Sometimes being seen is really what matters. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, if someone's not listening to you or not hearing you or something like that, sometimes being seen is the important part. The good folks rise up from the waters to offer the girl a boon. Their long spiny fingers push the object high into the air. She hovers at the edge of a cliff watching with rapt curiosity. She wears a kerchief around her head, giving the illusions she is in touch with her inner knowings. The illusion, oh dear. <laughs> uh, meaning, uh, now is the time to take hold of the unexpected offering that is coming your way. The world is giving you exactly what you need right now. Push aside all doubt and reach out for what is yours. It is exactly what you need right now. So, you know, when I was talking about the little, you know, I'm sitting on rocks and things like that, things are uncomfortable. The world is giving you exactly what you need to help transform and to help bring you wisdom, okay? Um, so whatever's going on right now, it's definitely, um, it's defi it's a loud lesson right now. There's a loud lesson going on, but you might not be listening to it because it might feel, it might feel a little bit uncomfortable. So you might wanna, I don't know, run away. I think run away is a little too strong, but you might, you might prefer not to have this lesson. So here's, here's a simple uh, thing to remember is that the, you know, <clears throat> rip the bandaid off. The quicker you get to the heart of the lesson, the quicker you learn about it and take it in and go, okay, this is my lesson, the less it will hang around. If you're really wanting something to not hang around then walk right toward it, walk right toward it. I, ha I used to have these dreams when I was growing up about all these kind of scary, um, I don't know, vis uh, people that would show up in my dreams and, you know, scary situations and stuff like that. And I would just walk right toward it because that's the thing of showing strength or of showing um, fearlessness. There's something about that too. There's something about that you're not ignoring it. You're not pushing it down. You're going to walk right towards something that's scaring you right now. Okay. Very interesting. Underneath is the King of Swords. I did my own reading today. I got that too. King of Swords about being very straightforward, even cold, dispassionate. 
Ace of Pentacles. Contemplation. This is a hermit card. Transformation is a death card. Wow. Nine of Swords, Four of Wands, Quan Yin, the Sacrifice card. That's the Hanged Man. Eight of Cups, Movement, the um, Chariot card, and the Ace of Wands. So let me see if I can uh, see. Now I have a little camera that's very easy for me to show you, if I can. Can you see there? <laughs> I'm not doing very well. Good job here. Um, it's kind of opposite of what I think. There we go. Okay. So this energy of Ace of Pentacles here, Ace of Pentacles and the Hermit card and death. So right away, you are getting the sense. I'm going to put you back down. I hope that didn't make you dizzy. <laughs> it made me dizzy a little bit. Um, so I feel like you're getting a sense here of you know, this new beginning is, is showing up. New beginning is definitely showing up. You're gonna have to really think about what you wanna leave behind. It's like going on a trip. You can't take all your stuff, nor would you want to take all your stuff. You know how, that's a lot of stuff. So what is it that you're gonna wanna leave behind? What is it, what is it that is no longer serving you? This is about discernment, okay? This is about being aware of, okay, I've learned that lesson. I've had enough cycles with that lesson. So I'm going to um, leave that behind. So the contemplation here, the wisdom to know what to take with you on this path. The transformation is here. The new beginning is happening. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. All right, that is happening. And this is the goddess deck for those of you who don't know. I, I do feel like um, it can feel a little bit scary. That's why you walk right toward it because if you want to have a good relationship, a solid new relationship, I do feel like bringing along some of the things, bringing along the, the um, not the patterns, but the lesson from the patterns is really what's going to help you. This is Kuan Yin, sacrifice, energy, hanged man. So that is about releasing and letting go, seeing things from a different perspective. And I, I do feel like you're moving very quickly on this new path. Um, it's, it's almost in direct proportion to how quickly you, and this is the answer, King of Swords. You just, okay, I see this lesson. I'm taking that lesson with me. This person, that relationship is over. I'm no longer, you know, it's no longer serving me. I'm going to move on from that. And so there is a couple of sleepless nights here about, uh, what is it? To, what is it that I have to leave behind? Why can't I take that person with me? Why can't I take that job or that career with me? Okay, so th you're gonna have those feelings of, um, you know, there's there's only so many t-shirts and pairs of shorts you can take with you on vacation. Take your two favorites, leave the rest behind, and it, you'll find out that you won't wear half of what you brought. <laughs> I wonder who she could be talking about. So I do feel like um, there's some things you're going to be leaving behind that, you know, this is where we get to the rubber hitting the road. Okay. Like if you want to be on the spiritual path, you now are no longer cycling through things anymore. You're not cycling through these, these, you know, messy kind of lessons anymore. You are going to be swift. You're going to need to carry travel lightly. All right, into this new beginning, being inspired by the chariot energy, the Cancerian energy. Only take that which is closest to your heart. Only take that which is closest to your heart. And the rest of it are lessons that can be packed up in a very small little, you know, envelope or your journal or things like that. Like, yes, I remember that lesson. Yes, I remember how I dealt with that. Yes, I'm going to apply that knowledge now. I don't have to learn anymore. So it's like the baggage is being is being withdrawn. And it's it's an extremely King of Swords kind of experience. Okay, it's very King of Swords like. So um, clarify for me the Nine of Swords here, the Nine of Swords, the things you have to leave behind that you're worried about. Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, Wisdom. So this is the High Priestess, and I feel like you might have had relationships 
that were very nurturing. You might have had um, the ability to move forward quickly by yourself. You might need to bring along other people's wisdom, other people's inspiration. You may be learning from different people, new kinds of people. So this wisdom here is uh, the high priestess. You're now going to have to be more discerning about um, what is a lesson for you and what is merely your role to play in someone else's lesson. I think that's a really good, I think that's a really good way to, to look at things here. So if you want to continue on with me, I want to see where this goes, Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. If you want to continue on with me, there's a link below for you to do that. If you're on Patreon, the rest of the reading starts right now.